Welcome to our podcast where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how China's 11th century guest star has been revealed to be the spectacular Crab Nebula. Over a millennium ago, in July 1054, when Chinese astronomers documented a remarkable guest star that shone as brightly as Jupiter for nearly a month, it sparked curiosity and speculations in equal proportions. But the two quickly went into oblivion as the guest star faded from sight. This celestial phenomenon was later identified as a cloud of debris from a dying star, located approximately 6,500 light years away in the constellation Taurus. Named the Crab Nebula in the 19th century by Irish astronomer Lord Ross, it was so called due to its appearance of streams running out like claws in every direction. Now, in the 21st century, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided an unprecedented mosaic of the Crab Nebula. For the first time, astronomers can observe the cage-like formations created by countless dust grains, prominently displayed as fluffy magenta material in the upper right and lower left regions of the image. Unlike other supernova remnants, where dust is concentrated in the central regions, the Crab Nebula's dust is largely contained within the filaments of its outer shell. The Crab Nebula lives up to a tradition in astronomy. The nearest, brightest, and best studied objects tend to be bizarre. Nathan Smith, co-author of the study from the Stewart Observatory at the University of Arizona, said in a statement, These observations have been detailed in a paper accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Since its explosion as a supernova, the star's shell has been expanding at a staggering rate of approximately 900 miles, 1,500 kilometers per second, and now spans about 11 light years across. Despite its well-documented history and proximity, many details of the explosion have remained a mystery. The star at the center of the Crab Nebula likely initiated its demise by producing iron a process that consumes more energy than it releases, causing the star to collapse under its own gravity. At the heart of the nebula now lies a rapidly spinning pulsar, visible in Webb's image as a bright white dot at the center. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.